Jim, would you vote for Donald Trump? I assure you I'm not going to vote for Donald Trump. But uh, listen, I rare, I have never voted for a winning U.S. president. I always vote the protest vote. Okay, that's worrying. Gonna be, that's going to be worrying for some people. You wouldn't vote for him and you've never voted for a winner. Right. But I always vote for the protest vote. Yeah. They keep sending us isn't, turkeys. Isn't he you know a who's, protest look vote? Look back who's been elected president in the past few decades in the United States. Are you, would you be happy about any of them, having voted for any of them? I don't have that privilege. I know you don't. <laughs> um, but let me talk. Uh, he, isn't he the protest candidate, though? What he's doing is appealing to the squeezed middle, the people that have been beaten up by globalization, the people that, that QE hasn't worked for. That he, this, he is the protest vote. He's not the consensus candidate from the Republican Party. Well, I wouldn't vote for the consensus candidate for the yeah. Republican Party, whoever it is, whoever gets the nomination. Would you vote for Cruz? No, you vote no. for any of them. Do you like what any of them are saying? There's not a single person in the, either race that I would vote for. No. Who would you vote for? I'll vote for a protest vote. I'll, you right. know, in 1968, I voted for Benjamin Spock. You remember Benjamin Spock? I, 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 mem <laughs> I remember my political theory classes from the state uh, He from, ran, a, from he ran a, an anti war campaign, and I voted for Benjamin Spock. What? I always find some protest vote. What do politicians need to do, though? I, if you look at, uh, we're, we're run by monetary policy right now, the politicians aren't there. No, I, you're exactly right. All over the world, Britain, Japan, Europe, everybody's being run by central banks, and central banks are making terrible mistakes. But the, pol the politicians don't know that. They don't understand what's going on. So we're all getting ruined. Do we now need to see the move from monetary policy to fiscal policy? Should we be out there building bridges? Yes, we should be doing both. Right. We should stop printing money and we should stop running up huge debt. In the last 10 years, a lot of people yep. have talked about austerity in Europe. There's no austerity in Europe or anywhere in the world. Jim, it's been a great pleasure seeing you this morning. Thank you very much indeed. Jim Rogers.